Hi, it's me again. We're going to visit a new psychic today, uh, but we're going to start with a psychic that we have featured on our channel before, John Benner. John Benner is has his own playlist here on Psychics Explained. He is a Facebook medium where he goes live many hours a day and he many days a week and you type in your question and pay him PayPal or whatever way you're paying. And then he does, he answers your question. He uses tarot cards and things like that. If you want a mediumship reading, in other words, communicating with your dead, he is, um, will do it for, I think, $22. But his psychic or love readings are, I think, $7. So what we're going to be looking at is a woman from South Africa who is an intern. And she was um she got a reading with john benner first and then the next day she gets a reading from a different psychic and that's the one i want to show you but we need to start with john because um, because he she's asking the question to john benner she types it into the box so we can all read what the question is because it's pretty much the same question that she asked the second psychic so let's start with this her name is Quincient Taro. And um, yeah, that's that's it. So one of the people you'll also notice in the chat is Carol, who was featured on another one of John Benner's videos that is on my playlist. And Carol is the one who had um, decided that she wasn't going to want, she didn't want to live anymore. And so John was kind of like, hey, Carol, no, don't do that. You know, and then finally they called 911 and sent paramedics to her house. We don't know what happened, but she's still following John and apparently she's there a lot. The other thing I want to point out is that John Benner has me blocked on Facebook, which is really odd because it only makes me more interested in them. I, I don't do that to don't do that. If you're hiding something, just be normal because then maybe psych skeptics like us won't be interested in you, but I'm more interested because you decided you want to block me. The other thing uh, is, is that I'm obviously looking at his videos and that's because I could just look on a different browser with a different Facebook account. It's, it's not hard. So, you know, I don't know why they think they're trying to evade or fool us, but it's 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 silly. But all right. Okay. I'm right here. I'm using my real name. You can see my face. You can see my name is spelled on the screen. I'm not hiding anything. So why are they hiding something? But anyway, I, I don't get it, but fine. Here we go. So we're going to start with John. Hope that's clear. And this is look in the chat over here on the side and we're looking at this for this person quincient taro and the questions she asks are about the hospital she's interning at in south africa and they are a little confusing so and john's a little confused but we'll see Feels warm out there. Been warm in here, actually. Mm. I hope. Yes, Carol. That would be the thing. By sent? Are you there? that somebody talking outside i hear voices and they're outside mm 
I need to laugh at There were, there were some issues at work and a couple, okay, so Kwai Sen says, there were some issues at work and a couple of issues were cropping up at work. I provided explanations for the reasons why me and the other uh, junior doctors could not be as sufficient as they were expecting us to be. And they recent, and then recently I was told I may be following the block. Falling the block or oh failing failing the block okay okay let me read that again there were some issues at work and a couple excuse me and a couple of issues were cropping up at work I provided explanations for the reasons why me and the other junior doctors could not be as sufficient as recently. I was told it may be fun. Okay. So you're wondering if they're going to um, let you go? Is, is that what you're wondering? Or... Oh, why are they questioning your credibility? Okay. <sighs> the angels, please give Kwaisen a clear, precise message through his deck of cards. Why is Kwaisen's work questioning their credibility? What I'm feeling here is not to take it personally that they're doing this. Um, don't take it on a personal level. Uh, if you are, I feel that they're asking questions to a lot of other people as well. <clears throat> they're just trying to get down to the bottom of things. Um, but I, I feel that they view you as being, <clears throat> excuse me, as being a good worker. Uh, they're just trying to investigate what's really going on trying to figure things out. So they're questioning everybody at, at this time. Did you have any other questions? I'll give you an example. My supervisor said she wants all prescriptions to go to the pharmacy uh, early as patients are being discharged late because pharmacy is dispensing the meds late. Oh, I see. Okay. You, yeah, you can watch the live stream, but the readings are paid. Um, but the issue is that some of our scripts are rejected. Then we have to correct them and send them back. Oh, wow. Okay. 
So they're questioning you over this and a few others. I'm probably trying to figure out why the scripts are being rejected. What's going on there? I'm trying to figure out how to ask that question there. I'm always thinking about it. Hmm. This is not something normally somebody would ask. So I'm having such a problem with it. Um, or issue. Water. Somehow we're playing music again. No music, Facebook. It is not brought to our attention immediately or pharmacy does not telephonically call us. Only when the pharmacy, uh, only when the pharmacy box comes back to the ward, the nurse informs us and the script was to go back down again. Pharmacy reported that they have been receiving the scripts before closing time. Okay. So the pharmacy's communication isn't real good with you guys then. And it needs to be, and there needs to be improvements. Hmm. Um.
Then when a consultation on a patient is order is ordered, such as for a social worker or a psychotherapist or a dietitian, and the the consult does not go down to the social worker, <clears throat> dietitian. And uh, okay, we were we are questioned why the patient did not receive the expected care. I pointed this out to her so that she could see her herself. Why is not being done? The consults are, are piling up as a training doctors have to take it down ourselves. Um, okay. Uh, I'm not sure what your, what is What's your question with this? What are you trying to question with it? I mean, it sounds like you all need to get together and have a meeting to me and, and like really discuss the organization and what's going on there. That's what it sounds like to me. You all need to get together and be like, okay, this is how things work and actually do that. <laughs> when I take the consults down, she says I'm wasting time taking it down. Yeah, you guys need to get together and have a meeting. All of you, all of all your coworkers, your supervisors, everything, you guys need to get together and just be like, this is how we're gonna do stuff. and and do it like that because it sounds like it's completely unorganized there. Huh. Am I being blacklisted for pointing things, for pointing these faults out? Oh, I see. So you're pointing the stuff out and they're questioning you I'm getting kind of, I'm getting a feeling that there's something, someone else behind this that's not doing their job, that's being lazy. And they're pointing a finger at you because you're questioning it and they want you, you out of the picture so they can keep in this, so they can stay in their comfort zone. That's the feeling that I'm getting. Um, let's see here. Angels, please give Christ sent a clear, concise message through a stack of cards. Are they being blacklisted because of their concerns at work? Two and three. Yes. Yes, you are. Yep. Someone's got some deep commitment on this. Somebody there is not doing what they're supposed to be doing. And... That's not good. And so they're blacklisting you to basically get you to be quiet. So they can, you know, keep doing what it is that they're not doing. That doesn't sound right. That's the feeling I get, though. I feel like they are trying to make demands on me and the other junior doctors, and I am tr just trying to clear my reputation. My reputation as it makes me look inadequate. Ah, I see, okay. Hmm. Um, angels, please give Kawhi sent a clear, concise message through a stack of cards. What will be the outcome over this whole situation that they're going through at work? What will be their outcome? I see that you're going to have a change in your priorities soon. 
you're going to be choosing to make a pretty big change with your work. Um, like you're going to be looking to move on from this, from where you're working. That could possibly mean that you might be looking for a different job somewhere else. Um, I just, I just feel you're going to be seeking more than what you've been experiencing at this place. I also feel, I also feel that way. Did they ask me for honest feedback Sour. and my opinions if they are not going to take, uh, let's see here. Angels, please give Kawhi sent a clear, concise message through a stack of cards. Did their work ask them for honest feedback? One, two, and three. Yes, they did. They did ask for honest feedback, yes. And your opinions, yes, they did. I'm feeling the reason why they did that, though, is because they had to put it in the reports to be an honest, so to be an honest report on it in case someone else comes to question you. Did you have any other questions? I feel like I'm just wasting my time and energy trying to explain myself. If they want to continue with this poor system and it will slowly collapse, which is fine with me. Yeah, it's, it's more their problem. Um, the advice I could give you is I'd find somewhere else to go because that's it, it doesn't sound like they want to deal with anything. It's like they just want a report to give to someone else and then just sit on their butt and do nothing. That's what it sounds like to me. That's horrible. And that's a, is that a clinic? Are you working at a clinic or a hospital or something? That's, that's horrible. That sounds like one of the clinics I used to go to. They were like that. And so I stopped going to it. <laughs> it was ridiculous. I feel like they're putting down on me. It sounds like it because you're like, you're the most, you're probably the most honest person there. And they're probably afraid of your honesty because it'll get them in trouble, you know? And so they're pinning everything down on you to probably to force you out. That's what it sounds like to me. Did you have any other questions, Corsant? Am I speaking too much? Are you exposing them too much? 
Angels, please give Christ Santa a clear, concise message through this deck of cards. Are they exposing the people that are that are questioning them too much? see that you're not no all three notes here hmm that's why a hunch can be wrong Is difficult because I'm a spiritual worker too. So seeing injustice happening, I feel it is partially my purpose to bring uh, to bring the light. The faults, like how the high priestess is black and white, I feel like I am in a low vibrational high priestess energy, possibly working there. Yes, that place doesn't. That place seems negative, very unorganized. And just negative. Um, so, yeah, I would say that you're doing the right thing. Um, because it sounds like they really need to get some organization going and they need to get, you know, do their jobs. And they're not doing them. But there's no exposure just yet. And they, they could be just afraid that you're going to expose them. So that's up to you. Oh, Elizabeth, how are you doing? That's good to know. I feel like excluding myself from the next two meetings. Mm, yeah, I would feel the same way. Because I'm sure you're feeling like an outsider now. Mm. I hope you have the best of luck with that. I mean, if it were me, I would start looking elsewhere and get the hell out of there. But that's me. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to end it there. Oh, my gosh. I left all that in for you guys. You never know what's going to happen. And we got just at the very end as I'm like going, I can't handle any more of this. She, she gives us a nice long narrative of what she's, um, who she is. <laughs> she's a spiritual worker whose purpose is to bring light to the faults. Like how the high priestess is black and white. I feel like I'm in a low vibrational high priestess energy. She doesn't want to go to the next two meetings. So, John is over his head. 
he doesn't know what to tell her. And it takes a while before he finally is like, okay, I guess I got to give her some advice about how to deal with coworkers. And his advice is run, leave, get another job because you're going to get fired. So it says a lot about a person that says, uh, you know, I don't know what that says about John Brenner. Is he the type that runs and uh, from situations when they get to be a little bit difficult? I don't know. But he didn't got no business giving any advice to some woman who is a doctor. Oh my gosh, this person's a doctor. The science should have a science background. Who paid $7 to waste all that time. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, so part of the reason why I left all of that in, and even the very beginning, if you guys remember where he's, he's looking at the screen and he gets really close and he's trying to make uh, Carol laugh, is because I want you guys to understand that this is a community. Apparently it's shrinking and some people are leaving and, and they've had enough, but they all seem to know John's business. So they know what his personal life is like. They know where, you know, where he lives and his relationships and what he does for a living and that he's diabetic and he's having problems getting his medication and, and people are doing this to him and that to him. I mean, they all know his business and that's, it's a community. And then when people come into this community, they know each other because they come to these readings. I mean, my gosh, he's four hours a night, I think. And so they are there to listen and to, to interact with him, to get their John Benner fix. And you can see how, how this, it's like a cult of personality is developed around this guy. For better or for worse, this is their guy. So um, I'm trying to explain and why I said leaving in all the goofy stuff and all the idiosyncrasies and all of that long pauses, Maurice typing and talking to somebody who knows who it's these people are fine with that. And this has become their their uh, nightly, I guess, um, thing they do is spend time with John. There is more and more it's becoming delight an epidemic of loneliness in in the world the pandemic did not help and people who are lonely are turning to other things to i mean this has always been happening right but the pandemic didn't help anything there there these people are don't know who to reach out to to ask advice i mean quint quincient i mean she's asking a psychic for advice about her, something that should be dealing with at work probably serious things these are life-changing things for her that he's telling her to quit her job and find something else but this is what we're seeing people are lonely they don't have anything to do with their time they obviously can use the internet and they can be on facebook they have that capability because they're here i don't have an answer for you people are going to be lonely it's it's a community is important and some people have found this is their community. Okay. That said, John Benner. Oh, I liked how Carol said he's, he doesn't charge a lot. He's really cheap, but he's got 30 years of experience. He's great. 30 years of experience. He doesn't look 40. <laughs> I don't know. I'm no good at judging age, but anyway. Okay. So that was that. Now that was March 1st. Today is March 4th. I'm recording this. So yesterday, that same uh, doctor from South Africa has asked the same question for a different psychic. Now I'm going to show you who the psychic is and I'm going to play the recordings. And the recordings are very brief. The first one's three minutes. The next ones are 15 seconds or so. So this is a new psychic I'm introducing you to. Let's look at his Facebook page. His name is Jonathan Ballard Jr. And he's the CEO of John the Psychic, All-Knowing Psychics. And he has 2.2 thousand followers. Damn. So he's the CEO of All-Knowing Psychic, Psychic Medium, Master, Manifester, Motivational Speaker, and a Teacher. He's single. He's an astrologist and psychic. Okay, well, this is what his Facebook page says. I don't know if he really is single. 
I don't know. I don't really care. So I think this Carol Gibbs is Cynthia Gibbs is his mom because she posts on here all the time. All right. Now I'm going to show you a couple things that are on his Facebook page. The quality of his there's I think is his mom. Um, oh, my gosh, you guys. Let me see. OK, so let's check this woman out over here now. Here, here is one of his advertisements. This is only 13 seconds long. So let's let's play this. Let me make sure the volume is on. Through Jonathan yesterday. When I got the message back from him, it was shocking because he told me stuff that nobody else knew other than me. I did a deceased reading of my husband through Jonathan yesterday. Okay, so she did a deceased reading from her husband yesterday. And then let's go over here to this commercial they have here. Now, this says, you can, uh, I'm not going to play the music for this because it's really annoying. But this is a uh, a little commercial that shows how you can get 20% off. I would love to book a love reading. Wait, hey, I would like to book a love reading. Welcome to All Knowing Psychics. Of course, 20% off. First time users. And you can see this couple in the back that are kissing because, you know, that that's good. And then up here, he's got this psychic divine empress tarot that <laughs> it's sideways, you guys. Here's her charging cord and everything. So she just talks about. Her... Which I am going to do for the reading. But, you know, while shuffling the card, the energy which I'm getting is like you have set, you know, a very big, big, like very strong boundaries. Okay. Very strong boundaries. Okay, I'm not going to play that, but it says donate on the PayPal at Seven Goddess. I have to turn my head to the side to be able to read this darn thing. And it says, question, wait, uh, eight, post your question. I will answer it. Don't mind my silence. I am here only... The second card says paid tarot card readings, one card reading $19.33, three cards reading $29.33, yes, no questions, $11.33 at seven goddess. So that's somebody's advertising on his page. This one is, I think, a commercial. Let's, let's, this is, uh, it's not 10 minutes. It's, it's uh, only a couple minutes. I heard deported, deported. I'm having reference to family. Did someone get deported? Your stepdad was deported. Yeah, because I heard deported right away. After going through anything right now. told me stuff that I don't tell anybody. Like I'm antisocial or my dad and I don't have a good relationship. The results tell the truth. John gives exact details. We're loading now. Enjoy your reading. Welcome to All Knowing Psychic's Love Sleep Synopsis. You're watching this for a reason. Do you miss him or her? Well, this is for you. We'll program you while you rest. They will think of you, think on how you feel, and most importantly, discover their own true feelings, that's been repressed. So, allow us to guide you to these amazing results, with our love sleep synopsis. Let us do the work. Everything gets better, here at Annoying Psychics. Annoying Psychics. Okay, really, Let's see it's, what our family and it's awful. It, it's just... Just come on, you guys. Really, seriously, this is just scary stuff. But it's it's not new, right? So this has been going on for a very long time. I'm not revealing anything that hasn't been done since time beyond. And I don't have an answer. Educate people is a great way of um, making a difference. But for all of those people out there who seem to think that this was just like Teresa Caputo and John Edward and, and uh, Tyler Henry and Sylvia Brown stuff. No, there are people on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, everywhere you can imagine that are doing exactly this kind of stuff. And it is very manipulative. And I'm going to show you exactly how manipulative. Well, I'm not going to show you. I'm going to let you listen. Okay, so I have five clips. And this is that woman who we just heard try to get readings from John Benner. She yesterday paid $75 for a three minute audio clip. Now I'm going to play it and you can look at me. 
I'll try not to roll my eyes. It's three minutes. And this is the question she was asking about her workplace and about how the their scripts and how um, something's going on, some kind of disorganization at work. I, 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 I don't know. So here's the first clip. Let's, this one's three minutes, 27 seconds. This is with this guy. She paid for this guy. Um, so she sent him her email question and then he sent her a voicemail back. This is what tech, technology has done to be able to do this for us. Well, I just heard going haywire. And then I heard doctors as well. And I keep picking up, like someone's trying to keep up. I feel this energy too as well. Like a lot of internal pressures I feel as well coming from within you too as well is what I pick it up on as well. Um, Spirit said they don't question your uh, credibility. I don't feel like that is, but I heard accountability is what they question. So it's not the credibility. Spirit says more so they focus more so on the accountability and things not being done in a safe way is what I'm picking up on too as well. Um, so it's pretty much like follow procedure. Like I see, I don't know why the energy has me like, I see you and I see the doctor, but I see myself moving away backing up a bit too as well. So Spirit is showing me like you probably need to back up, a back up as far as antagonizing the situation is what I'm picking up on as well because I heard power and control is is with the hospital. I feel this energy as well. Um, so that's what I'm picking up on. Like, I see you backing up slightly. Like I don't know why Spirit is having like, so the doctor's standing straight in front of you and I see you. You, see, you got standing straight and then I see like your energy moving back a little bit as far as, but your, 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 your feet still standing, but it's like you're moving back with your upper body. So Spirit wants you to move back, I take take the passive approach and just listen. I feel this kind of energy as well, because I feel like we're just like someone could be going haywire. I feel like the doctor's in the speed of the situation. So that's what Spirit is bringing up right away. So that's what Spirit said that you should, you should do. Or you might even be feeling like this right now. You just listen. Don't say anything. Kind of take a step back. You say what you needed to say and then accept it. So that's what Spirit brings up as well. So they're not questioning your credibility. It's more so accountability is what I'm picking up on as well. Of being a safe doctor is being questioned. Let's answer your next question. You say, am I being targeted for what's in the truth? Yes or no. So Spirit says you aren't for this kind of energy. So I don't feel like um, you're being targeted for voice and the truth of this energy, but I feel like we're just like a standing up energy. But also Spirit is showing me like a rabbit and I, like out of a hat. Like you're doing something that no one has ever really done is what I'm picking up on as well. You're standing your ground. I feel this energy and they don't like it. I keep picking up a rat. So Spirit showing me a reference of a rat, meaning uh, they want people to do as they say is what I'm picking up on as well. So that's what Spirit is bringing up as well. So I don't feel like you're being targeted for voice and the truth. I put this kind of energy as well. But um, that's what I'm picking up on. And this is your truth, but Spirit says it's not the hospital's truth. So that's what I'm picking up on. I just feel power struggle between you two. And it's more power with the hospitals because they got more experience and years and experience. So that's what I'm picking up on. So just go with that energy. Like I said, like you guys saw, I see the doctor standing up straight and you're standing up straight right in front of each other. And just move your upper body back a little bit. It's showing. So Spirit just showing me this just to listen um, and be able to adapt. So that's what I'm picking up on as well. So take that approach. I don't feel like there's nothing wrong for you uh, voicing your truth. I feel this energy you needed to be heard. I feel this kind of energy as well. And I feel like it was heard, but it was a shutdown energy as well. So they really didn't receive what you said completely because they don't want they, they don't want to receive it. So that's what I'm picking up on as well. I heard a bot um, by rules of the hospital as well. So that's what spirit is bring up to. Um, I do know a lot more in detail. You want to accept, please let me know. But that's what spirit is bring up right away as well. Um, so take that approach. So the same thing, take that approach. Like I said, uh, that metaphor, as far as you move, stepping back a bit right now too as well, um, repressing how you feel and like, you know, what you say right now too as well to this, the better respect of the hospital is what spirit is saying you should do best right now. I do know a lot more in detail. You want to extend, please let us know. Um, we do know a lot more in detail. Okay, then. So I think the guy needs to get a battery in his smoke detector because it is beeping and that is enough to drive anybody nuts. Okay, so do you get that? <laughs> okay, great advice, right? Step back, put your, your, your lean back or something like that. And I'm not quite sure I got it, but that was $75, three, three minutes and a half and 75 bucks but it is the same question she asked so she didn't quite think she got enough and did you hear the ending of that how he said if you want more you can you can pay for more basically so i have four more clips they're only 15 seconds long let's let's listen to these now this is 20 dollars that she just paid for this 
in a way, I just heard like nobody hasn't done this. Got like hurt in a while as well. Like stepped in their own way as well of something is what I'm picking up on. Um, so that's what I'm picking up on. They they're they're just not used to how you approach situation. They're not used to people just standing up. They're used to people falling back. I do know a lot more detail when they still let us know. If you want to extend, let us know. That was so seventy five dollars. Another twenty. Okay. Well, she didn't think it was enough because she went back in for another twenty. Wait, I just heard an impatient kind of energy, and I heard Kanita. Like, Spirit mentioned, like, you want things your own way. I feel this kind of energy as well, but Spirit says you do need to conform. Um, I feel like this is for you. Um, and I heard lesson learned is what I'm picking up on as well. I do know a lot more in detail you want to extend. Um, let me know, but Spirit said you should keep being a doctor. Keep being a doctor. Okay, so here's another $20. By the way, I heard extend. I feel this kind of energy as well, so I do feel an extension of some sort too as well. I feel like they may feel bad for you. I feel this energy and it's going to um, give you another chance. I do know a lot more detail you want to extend this one. And another $20. Right away, I heard give in. Spirit wants you to give up in this manner. I feel this kind of energy as well. And I feel like you might need this position right here at work. So that's what Spirit wants you to do too as well. Spirit, Spirit wants you to grow with them instead of go against them. Grow with them. You got to grow with each other. I do know a lot more detail you want to extend this one. He's got that down because he says that probably all the time. So in all, it was $215, but I understand it was another $5 probably as a tip or she got her addition wrong, but she spent $220 yesterday on that nonsense. And she goes apparently from one psychic to the next psychic, to the next psychic, to the next psychic, to the next psychic. And when she was questioned on this, she said, Sometimes he gives good advice. So she wants to continue with trying to interpret this. I mean, in a way, you're paying for it and it's just, you read into it. It's pareidolia of sorts. You read into it, whatever you, whatever your, whatever you wanted to do in the first place. Right. So it's not, uh, I, I, it's like a magic eight ball. You're just looking at the eight ball and you're going, oh, that's what I wanted to do in the first place. Okay, well, that just backed me up. They have low confidence or or feel like they have nobody to talk to. Who knows? So that was Jonathan. What is his name again? Jonathan Ballard Jr. And then this woman paid $220 from South Africa. Now she is a doctor. I don't know what $220 dollars is in south african money if that's a big deal or not but i assume it's probably a, a good chunk of change considering that it was maybe four minutes of reading and he kind of repeated himself so you can see how this is like a lost cost what is it called lost cost fallacy uh, where you you paid your big chunk of money and you're going well it's only 20 dollars more maybe he'll be more clear well, it's only $20 more. Maybe it'll be more clear. I've already paid $75. So another $20 is not a big deal. Okay. All right. I've only paid $95. So another $20 isn't a big deal. Okay. I've already paid $115. So another $20 is no big deal. Maybe it'll make more sense in a minute. And he's talking to me. He's he's giving me advice. And I think that has a lot to do with it as well, is that they're getting this personal one-on-one -on -one attention so maybe they're not getting it at home maybe they don't have people to talk to maybe who it could be a lot of reasons it could be personality um the the feeling that you need to be uh, listened to or the like i said low confidence in yourself it could be a lot of reasons why people fall for this and i don't have an answer which is sad because what are you gonna do i i just i don't I don't have any answer. Um, I did write this article. I just want to make sure I mentioned this. I just uh, published this with Skeptical Inquirer just yesterday. No, it came out this morning. So let me show it to you. Just I've been talking about it for a very long time in a lot of other areas. If you want to follow my 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 uh, writings, you can do so over at Skeptical Inquirer. This is where I publish. I don't usually publish in the magazine. I usually publish online. And this is called Why Won't Medium Solve Crimes, March 4th, 2024, Skeptical Inquirer. 
and I do have other columns. You can you can see view all from Gorilla Skepticism, a column by Susan Gerbic. And I have a lot of articles and they're not all about mediums. Um, I blame the Australian skeptics is about the recent attacks I have been getting from the UFO community, believe it or not. <laughs> and then when I was over in Australia, I wrote an article about that. But anyway, so I'm writing this. Um, this article is about, um, I was watching the Michelle Tragonis trial. I don't know if you saw that or not. It's 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 not relative, but um, this woman has now been found guilty for conspiring. And the fact is, is that Jennifer Farber Doulos is missing. Her body is missing and she has five young children and nobody knows where she is. So I'm saying basically in this article that if psychics could communicate with the dead, why are they not? Um, finding missing people and that's it because nobody's ever been missing uh, found with the help of a psychic and then I gave one two three different um, instances of people who are missing and they've been missing for a very long time and why aren't they being helped why 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 not so um, I said here at the very end either these psychic medium grief vampires are cowards and scum of the earth for not helping families or they can't do what they claim to do and it's just that simple and i stand by that and i think what i'm going to be doing a lot of this year and i if you would like to join with me that'd be great is every time you hear of somebody who says that they can communicate with the dead or they had a reading from somebody who got stuff that there was no way anybody else could get or whatever i'm going to ask them about the missing persons they found names i don't want to just hear oh i help the police all the time L let's see who did you find and you can go to these missing persons um websites or take a, a somebody in your area or somebody in the psychics area and say why haven't you discovered this person and i'm not talking about like oh there are bodies near a lake or um, there's a number seven somewhere in there no no i'm talking about let's go walk down there and get them the police the police let's go let's go find them i mean like actually solving the crime not none of this other weebly stuff that they they say that they do because you know if you concentrate if you could talk to grandma if you can talk to the cat if you can talk to these other things then you sure should be able to talk to a dead person who's been murdered and they could tell you where their body is and they could tell you who did it none of this nonsense i'm sick of it i'm really am sick of it so i don't know if you are or not but i'm getting to the point where i'm sick of it so please like please share please leave me comments you know i do like those and thank you guys so much for being with me today i really appreciate it